Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and I'm running from a wolf. Um, there was a, a rabbit or a chicken right outside of our camp there. And I was going after him, and uh, there was also a wolf nearby. So, yeah, anyway, welcome back, guys. It is morning now. I spent an uneventful night by the fire. Uh, what we want to do, uh, our first goals for today are to get a fish trap going in the pond and to get a chest down so we can put our stuff in it so if we die, we don't lose it all. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're about today. So let's get down to the pond here. I have no idea how long it takes for the fish trap to, you know, catch fish and all that. So uh, what we need to do to make that is, let's take a look. We need uh, th three more sticks, okay? So let's go one, two, three. And then I'm assuming we just kind of put it in or under the water and then we throw a grub inside of it. And then come back and check it later. I don't know how much protein we get from fish either. So it might, you know, this might end up being a thing where we have to set multiple down in order to make it worthwhile. So we'll we'll, we'll do the first fish and then we'll see, assess, you know, from there um, if it's going to make sense to have multiple traps. Hopefully... They always will catch a fish after a certain period of time. Uh, I don't know that either. Maybe it's a, that's random. Who knows? Uh, okay, so let's grab the trap. So I guess how deep does... Okay. Oh, okay, so it has to be that deep. And then um, to put bait in there, let's split this. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll come back and check that trap later and see how that works that's you know hopefully like i said it'll always have something in it after whatever the period of time is that needs to go by the next thing we want to do is we want to get a chest made so um, we just need some more wood for that uh, so let's go ahead and cut some wood we'll head back into the base to make the chest and then we need to go out hunting uh, to find more protein as usual and then you know we'll try and make as much progress as we can um, in general as we are also hunting we'll, we'll try and kill you know two birds oh good look at that we got some more fire starter two birds with one stone that sort of thing as we go along here i'm uh really enjoying the series so far this is uh this is, game is pretty pretty fun it's very challenging but in a fun kind of way mostly except for that bear up there um yeah so hope you guys are enjoying the series too so far uh, I am recording these first few episodes back to back too, by the way. So I haven't seen anyone's comments from the first couple of episodes. So just kind of keep that in mind. I tend to pre-record most of my stuff just so I can keep ahead of the game. Um, sometimes I have to travel, that sort of thing too. So yeah, it's just the way it works for me. Okay, let's start heading back towards our base. But again, uh, we want to do some hunting along the way. I do see a fiber plant off to our right. Hopefully that damn wolf isn't near our base. Still. Okay, there's a deer and a wolf. So let's not go up that way. Okay, good. There's some small game right there. Settle down, rabbit. Settle down. There we go. All right. This is breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. Need to make sure we have a nice, clear shot. Beautiful. Okay. We got some breakfast. Sorry, bunny. But uh, it's either you or me, and it's definitely going to be me. Okay. Put that rabbit on the fire and get our chest made. That's a good start to the day, you guys, except for there's a bear up there. Bears aren't good starts to days. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have been making these planks all along. I'm trying to, trying to remember to keep things going here. Okay. We'll kill the rabbit and get, get that going. And as soon as we have, I think it's five planks. Yeah, five planks, then we can get the chest down. 
And then I can breathe a little bit easier because I'll know that if we're halfway across the map and we get killed, we haven't lost everything we own. Whew, okay. All right, so let's wait for this to get to medium. It's easy to, to put this on the fire and then go start doing something else and forget about it. Um, speaking of which, let's put uh, the rest of those logs on there and we'll keep this going. Uh, you know, let's cook the potatoes too. Oh, I guess we can't make baked potatoes. Okay, we'll eat that and that'll get us, uh, well, that far. <laughs> Further than we would have been otherwise, right? Further than we would have been otherwise. Okay, now we can make the chest. Um, here, let's cancel. Here, cancel that too. Okay. And we're going to put the chest right on the end of our foundation here. Because eventually, you know, we're going to put more foundations down and start closing all of this in and making an actual house. That is the plan. Excellent. We got ourselves a chest. It's a beautiful thing. Let's put the chest. Doesn't really matter for now. Uh, we're going to stick it kind of in this corner, I guess. And now we can offload all the things that we don't need to be carrying around with us. We want to keep the arrows. Um, we could probably keep one water here and keep one water with us. Let's keep the lashings with us. We don't need all of that stuff. Might not be a bad idea to keep one biofuel with us. Just because, again, if we're out halfway across the map and we need to stop and eat like we did last time, we, we have the ability to do that. So, okay, good. That is really good. That is really good. So, we've accomplished two of our daily goals. Uh, not daily goals, goals for today. We got the fish trap down and we got a chest put down with all of our stuff in it, which is really, really good. Okay, now, um, hunting. Hunting and gathering. That is what we got to do. So, let's... Uh, Let's maybe go into a new area. So we've kind of, we've definitely been in the south, eastern, and eastern part of the map, and south part of the map. So let's kind of just start doing a, a northwest gig and keeping in mind that that is the direction we're going, so we know how to get back, right? But we're a little smarter now. We kind of figured out how to find our base based upon the location of the pond on the map. And... Um, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to find my way back now. We could take a quick stop off at the pond, pick some kelp, and just check the fish trap. I'd be really surprised if the trap has already caught a fish, but if it has, that'd be great. So let's go check that first. Nope, nothing yet. Okay, no problem. No problem. I figured it was a little too soon, but we had to come back this way anyway, so there was no harm in checking, right? No harm in checking. Just looking for a couple more kelp plants. We can top off our carbs. There's one over there. It looks like there might be a carrot or something on the shore we can pick too. There is farming in the game. Um, so yeah, you can get to the point where you can do that too. Two more kelp plants. Beautiful. Okay, so from across the way, I thought I saw something orange over here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Like a carrot plant or something. Unless it was over here more. Nope, not seeing it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we wanted to go northwestish. So let's head on up this way. Ah, crap, stay away from the bear. We don't want to be messing with any bears. There's a wolf. See, that's the thing about this game is you can't... You say, okay, I think I want to go northwest. Well, you can't always just go northwest. Sometimes you get 
diverted. No, most of the time you get diverted. There's some scrap metal. Okay, good. There's some small game for us. Uh, we really need a chicken because um, we're super low on feathers or arrows. We have two arrows. That means we can kill two more animals. And then that's it until we make more. I'm really hoping the fish trap turns out to be workable. A workable thing, you know? Where did that critter go? Alright, I'm not seeing it. Uh, we've got a big old grizzly bear down that direction. So let's go this way. We'll go over and hit this grub tree. I don't know if the grubs would go bad or not. That doesn't seem to, to me like something that would go bad, but maybe it does. I don't know. Okay, there's a rabbit. shoot over the edge of the cliff and lose our arrow. Where'd you go, you little bugger? Okay, well, tell you what, let's go get our, our grub. And five pieces of wood. Okay. And I'm going to walk in this direction, but not sprint. Let's see if we can... Get a bead on the rabbit again. He probably went off over the other side of that ridge there, I'm guessing. Here comes the storm. Storms are kind of a pain in the butt because of both temperature and makes it harder to hear I saw the rabbit right over the edge of this thing but I don't know if he saw us or if he's still close by Let's just perch here for a minute and look out off the edge of this little cliff. Got a bear and a wolf up that way. Now you can uh, sprain and break your leg too, so you do have to be careful of fall damage. Oh, another interesting thing about this game is it doesn't have any kind of a skill system. You know, you just what you what you can do is what you can do in it, which is pretty interesting. Okay, well, I don't know where that rabbit went off to, but we probably better just get moving because we need to be finding uh, chess too.
Here's another uh, grub tree. Just want to make sure there's no big minis really close by. I think we're good. Well, we're getting plenty of grub, so I'm starting to think maybe we should just make a shit ton of fish traps. Um, they're not that expensive to make, and then we would always have at least a little bit of protein each day, assuming that they proc each day. Uh, that's the other thing, and I don't know, maybe they don't. Or maybe they take longer than a day. Two bears? Or a bear and a wolf? It doesn't matter. They're dangerous. Okay, here's a chest. Look at all that gunpowder. Nice. So you find uh, gunpowder and you find am ammunition casings, I think it's called. And then from those, you can make uh, ammunition. There's a medicinal plant right there. And a fiber plant. Oh, I hear a wolf growling. Let's run this way. Yeah, he's right there. Level 2 wolf. Nope. No thank you. We'll eventually be able to take him on, but not right now. Alright, well while we're back at the pond, I guess we could check our fish trap again. I think it's on the other side. Oh, look, we got more kelp, too. That kelp down there? No. Oh. Does it have a fish in it? It does. Look at that. Awesome. Okay. So let's put another uh, grub in. And let's go cook this and see how much we get from it. We need it. doesn't matter how much we get. We need it. However much it is. Um, And you know what? Like I said, I think maybe what we should do is just make a bunch of fish traps. Because, you know, we just have to hit a couple grub trees each day. And that's not difficult to do. And then, you know, we can hopefully at least subsist protein wise while we start working on the other things we got to work on. I'm starting to think that's the way we ought to do things. Um, the other thing, too, is we don't need arrows, um, you know, for, for fish. We just need grubs. Grubs are a lot easier to get. Our fire went out. That's okay. It happens. Okay, so what we want to do is grab... Let's put all this stuff in here. Oh, no, we need to make the fire starter kit thing. That's right. Uh, so we need two, two sticks. I can't imagine the fish is going to give us more protein than a rabbit. <clears throat> Probably less, but we'll take whatever it will give us.
Okay, so right, right now, if we ate it raw, we'd get plus 8 protein. Let's see what it is when it it's uh, rare. Okay, so it's 13 when it's rare. Oh, I guess that's considered medium. Okay. So 18 when it's cooked. All right. Well, that's as good as a chicken anyway. That's as good as a chicken. Okay. That's, I think that's our plan, you guys. I believe that is our plan. We are going to go ahead then and, um, I'm going to make more biofuel. with the medicinal plants that we have. Okay. Um, let's eat all of this kelp right now. That'll get our carbs way back up. And we need to drink. So let's do that. Might as well go back to the pond and fill both of our canteens up. And so, yeah, I think the name of the game here is, is, is fish traps. So... I'm thinking four of them. All right, so to make four fish traps, we're going to need a total of 12 cordage and then just a bunch of sticks. The sticks are, are easy. Uh, we have no cordage in here, so yeah, we're going to have to go out and find a bunch of fiber. So we'll just start making those as we come across them. But I think that's a good plan for us uh, to, start, to start doing. Okay, well, let's go. Uh, we, can, we should be able to make one more cordage right now. And then um, let's make start making a bunch of sticks, and we're gonna have to go get some more wood. So wood and cordage—that's what we're after. We're still after, you know, all the other stuff we need too. But I'm feeling good about this because at least it kind of gives us a way to get try and get a little bit of a handle on the whole protein situation because that's just been all we've really been able to concentrate on since we started this playthrough. You know, just about. Okay, let's grab some more wood. There's some fiber. Oh, here's a a container. Nice. Yeah, those are the bullet casings, the ammo casings. All right, there's a level three wolf. Let's avoid him. Another wolf that way, so let's go this way. Damn, things are all over the place. Um, let's make another fish trap. We'll go put it by the first trap. And I should have... Oh, I thought I had another grub. Did I dock on it? Did I leave it back at the... Oh, shit. Base. I think I might have left it back at the base. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Oh, shit. Wolf. Yeah, see, it's really hard to hear them uh, during the storm. I'm guessing it's okay if we put them close to each other. We don't, they don't have to be like right next to each other, but... Close enough. Okay, so yeah, we'll, ha we'll have to go back and get that grub. Uh, let's look in this one on the off chance that it has a fish in it. Nope, it's too soon, I'm sure. Come on, out of the water. 
Seems to have a hard time getting out of the water sometimes. Okay, let's run back up, get the grub, and then we want to go hit some more grub trees and look for more fiber and all that. Top off our campfire, too. I mean, ideally, we want to keep it going if we can, but it's just really hard to keep it going um, and still go out and do all the stuff you need to do. Oh, I <laughs> oh, we got three grubs. Oh, that's even better. Okay, here, let's just carry them with us for now. Um, I forgot to fill up my canteen, so there you go. That's a thing. We should maybe try and repair this weapon. What do we need? We need three boards and three... Uh, things. That's a pig. We don't need to worry about the pig. Yeah, we're cold. Of course we are. That's right. We're going to have to stay cold because I need to, I want to get back down to the water and get that grub placed and refill our canteens. We'll lose a little bit of health, but I think we're going to afford it. Hopefully those aren't famous last words, right? Not being right next to the water is a pain in the butt for us right now, but later on, I think I'll be glad I started the base in the place that I'm going to keep the base permanently. All right, let's just look at you one last time just to make sure. Okay. Uh, split one. There we go. Okay, so we got two traps getting fish for us. Um, yeah, let's get these guys filled up. We'll go put them back on the fire and then kind of see where we're at. It's getting dark. Well, I don't know if it's getting dark or if it's just because of the storm. I think it is getting on in the evening, though, because we've had quite a long day already. Okay, let's put these in the fire and stoke that. And warm up ourselves. Uh, that I want to turn into lashings. There's no, apparently no sword option in the game, unfortunately. So, oh, we were gonna, we were gonna fix our weapon, huh? Okay. So, how much iron did it say we needed? Three. All right. So let's grab three of these. And we need a little more. Yeah, it's definitely getting dark. Let's see if we can grab a little more wood. I hope there's nothing mean, mean and nasty up here. So I can't see and I can't hear. Yeah, there's something right there. It's a bear. Run! Oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, well, it's nighttime, guys, and um, I think we're pretty much done doing whatever we can possibly do for now. I didn't really get enough wood to make planks to repair the gun. That's not a super high priority right now anyway, so I want to keep the rest of this wood in order to keep the fire going until morning. So I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here, and tomorrow, same thing. we got to go out. we got to get stuff. The good thing, though, is that we have two fish traps working on protein for us. We'll continue. My, uh, I'm thinking four. You know, we'll get four down eventually. But we're also going to keep looking for other things. Um, those other things are nails um, specifically because we can't continue building our base and doing the things we need to do until we get more nails. Uh, so we get we have to craft the wall and then put up the BCU. Uh, so, so we're really going to start looking for those, you know, nail chests along with everything else that we need to do. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.